Yo, what's good? It's your boy Lust for Power, man. Today I got another quick build video for y'all, and in this video, I'll be dropping my Famos Heroic Assault Rifle build, man. This is the build I've been running lately to do all PVE content, solo heroics, matchmaking heroics, all that stuff, man. I just got tired of kind of running the classic in one A, so I just been using my AR build, and I'm loving it right now. The Famos shoots like a beam if you get the stability right on it, but further ado. Let's get into the build. Alright, we're running the sharpshooter. The main reason we're running the sharpshooter is because you get 15% increased weapon stability, reduced recoil, and faster re equation of targets. And the second reason is for the flashbang grenades. The flashbang grenades are real good in PvE. You could just throw them out there, blind the enemy, and take them down real quick. When you shoot with the FAMOS, you'll be able to take them out, a couple of enemies out by the time that flashbang unblast them all right so real quickly let's get into the build we got the famos hitting a 95.8 we got 15 assault rifle damage 13 health damage 10 percent damage to target out of cover and we got strain gain 10 percent critical hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing stacks up to five times so you can get up to plus 50 percent critical hit damage with strain the longer you're firing firing the higher your critical hit damage so real quick, let's just get into the mods. I got the plus 20 rounds. I got plus 5 crit hit chance. I got another plus 5 crit hit chance. And I got plus 20% stability on the muzzle. So that plus 20% and the sharpshooter giving me 15% uh, that actually maxes out my stability on my FAMOS. So I got max stability on it and it shoots like a beam. That's that's how I shoot like in a straight line like a laser and I can actually beam heads with the FAMOS. Alright, with the Eagle Bear, uh, I use this to mainly take out heavies. It's in at 114.9. We got 15 assault rifle damage, 20.5 health health damage, and 10 headshot. But alright, let's get into the gear. I'm running two-piece Providence with a 10 headshot, a 10 critical hit chance. We got 15 weapon damage, 10 critical hit damage, 12 critical hit damage. And 11.9 critical hit damage mod. All right, so let's get into the chest piece. We got a Ferris Group AB chest piece that has 10% assault rifle damage. You got 14.9 weapon damage, 12 critical hit damage, six critical hit chance, and a 12 critical hit damage mod. And we got glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%. All damage you take is amplified by 50%. You could run perfect glass cannon here, but I just wanted to run regular glass cannon. Plus, this is a really good piece right here. And um. Perfect glass cannon will make you take that 10% amplified damage, and I feel like regular glass cannon is just it's a good spot. All right, for the holster, we got one piece Seska. It gives you 10 critical hit chance. We got 15 weapon damage, six critical hit chance, and 12 critical hit damage. On the knee pads, we got the Fox Prayers Overlord knee pads. We got 14.8 weapon damage, 8% damage to target out of cover, and we got 12 critical hit damage. And I actually tried the Providence knee pads right here, and um. I got more damage from the fox prayers, so that's why I run with the fox prayers. But if you wanted more critical hit damage on your build, you can replace the Suska holster with a Prod Providence holster, and that would give you more critical hit damage. But uh, I got a lot of headshot damage on my pieces, so you have to replace the headshot damage with crit chance. All right, let's get into the gloves. We got one piece group of Sombra. It gives you 15 critical hit damage. You got 15 weapon damage, six critical hit chance, and 12 critical hit damage. We got a second piece of Providence. We got 15 weapon damage, 6.4 headshot damage, 12 critical hit damage, and a 12 critical hit damage mod. And we got Vigilance. Increases total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. And I'm running the Reviver Hive and the Fixture Drone just for heals. Alright, so real quickly, we're just going to get into the stats. We got 95k weapon damage, 52k PvP weapon damage, 58 critical hit chance, 167 critical hit damage, and 101 headshot damage. And I'm going to show you all the Eagle Bear stats real quick. It's hitting that 114 weapon damage. It's got 58 critical hit chance, 182 critical hit damage, and 111 headshot damage. Alright, we got 99.7 all weapon damage bonus, and we got 25 rifle and 25% assault rifle damage bonus. 
and that's basically the whole build man like I said this build shoots like a laser this is currently the build that I've been running to do all heroic content at the moment uh, I'm tired of running the classic and one a but we about to get into some solo heroic gameplay don't forget to like comment subscribe man I appreciate y'all for coming through deuces then corner and kill Take it slow. Give it up! 
transmission control module. It handles all communications going in and out of viewpoint. If you reset it, you'll lock out the true suns and we can take over the channels. Okay, stay by the module and make sure it completes the reset sequence. Tech, as long as that EMP jammer is active, take it out. System. System. Restored. System. Not functioning. System. Back online. System. Curtailed. System. Reactivated. System. Not functioning. System restored. Let's see you. System disrupted. Structural integrity. 50%. System reactivated. Vital signs critical. The system malfunctioning. The facility is ours. True Sons just lost a powerful tool for coordinating their troops and spouting their horse shit. Once we get the radio mass repaired and operational, we can extend the reach of our own broadcasts. 